Hi, this is Louisa Whitfield-Smith with the Mississippi Library Commission, here to talk to you today about great ideas for your book clubs at your libraries. So, let's take a tour of some great ideas from around the state and further afield that you can implement there in your own library. First of all, I really want to brag on Priscilla Ivey at Bryant Public Library and the Tom B. Bigby Regional Library System. Last February, she kicked off a reading challenge contest where she challenged romance readers to read outside their normal landscapes or experiences. So if you're a big fan of Tessa Dare and Scottish Highland romances, maybe you want to read in a country you haven't read before and a landscape you haven't read before. You know, some of us read church books if we didn't usually read church romances, or maybe we read outside of our own heritage or ethnic background. She used a signed copy of Alyssa Cole's The Extraordinary Union as a prize to encourage people to pick a book. They had two events, one at the beginning of February and one at the end that was advertised on social media, on posters, flyers, and in their local newspaper. And anyone who participated and submitted the books that they had read as part of the Read Across Different Landscapes Challenge had a chance to win the book. And then at the end of February, she had an event where everyone could come together and talk about what it was like to read outside their comfort zone, whether that book was Bingo Love or a Scottish Highland Romance. I love this idea of using a reading challenge contest to kick off a new book club or to re-energize a book club that's flagged in attendance. Goodreads has a great book challenge every year, as well as many of our favorite book uh, fan sites around the internet, or you could create your own. Do you want to do a 12 month challenge or a one month challenge. Really think about it, gather your resources and use it as a fun, buzzy way to generate interest on social media and from the local press in your book club, whether new or in the need of rejuvenation. So what happens once you've built all that buzz from a successful kickoff event like they had at the Bryan Public Library? Great idea number two, build momentum from that special event. So since the kickoff last February of 2019, they are now coming up on their year anniversary of a book club that grew out of that challenge. They now have 18 members, of which they see 12 to 14 regularly, and they've had some real successes reading both buzzy current books, such as Tara Westover's Educated, or the one next up on the docket, which is a local reissue by Will D. Campbell, Brother of a Dragonfly, from the University of Mississippi Press. So once you get it in action, Get people's names who attend your special events for the reading challenge or who interact with you on social media and build a book club around their interest and what drew them to you in the first place in that special event. Other special events you might want to consider are author talks or friends luncheons. Really think about the events that draw your readers who love to talk about and think about books. Another great lesson from the Tom Bigby Regional Library Systems Book Club is pick a graphic novel. So last year, Priscilla Ivey and her book club picked Persepolis, the story of a childhood. And for many of the members of the book club, it was their first ever graphic novel. And since then, many of the readers have checked out additional graphic novels. You might also consider audiobooks, large prints. Think about formats you don't traditionally use in your book club. Also, if you're interested in using a graphic novel for your book club but don't think you have enough copies, we have several graphic novel book clubs here at the Mississippi Library Commission. And when we get to great idea number seven, I'll be talking about ways you can request them. Great idea number four comes from Mark's Quitman County Library, who has a fantastic book club run by Bill Barr. And I could brag on this book club for days. So they get great attendance at their library. They have steady regular donors who generously donate money to buy copy, 10 copies for local authors. And I think that's one of their real keys to their success is Bill and the members of his book club put a lot of thought into bringing in local authors with ties to Quitman County or Marks County or who write about issues that matter to the people in his county. And they really draw big attendance, routinely packing out their meeting space, whether to talk about literature or themes in education in their county. I really think this is so wise to build in a, an audience when you bring in an author that you know you can turn people out and to pick books that people will be excited and intrigued and challenged to talk about with their neighbors, 
friends, and acquaintances. So I love the Marks Quitman County Public Library, and I've really enjoyed the times I've gotten to go to their book club, and I'm looking forward to going again this year. An example of one of their local authors they're bringing in is this February 6th at, at 5.30. They're going to bring in Dr. Hilliard Lackey to talk about his book Storm Splitter, which is a collection of folk tales. So again, really think about who do you hear talked about, who do you have connections with that you could bring in to talk to your book club, because that makes it really special when the members of your book club can not just read a book and talk about it with each other, but they can talk about it with the author themselves. So. Put your ear to the ground, talk to your super readers and power users, and figure out what makes your county or city or neighborhood special and who you can bring in to talk about that, whether that's in person or by Skype. Great idea number five comes from Judy Ryan and her Gathering Cookbook Club at the Kiln Public Library in the Hancock County Library System, and I love it. It's a cookbook book club. So every month, they get together at lunchtime from 12 to 2 to cook around a theme. So one of their most popular ones recently was they had a high tea in honor of the Downton Abbey movie being released and shown at the library. So everyone brought in different high tea recipes and they don't all use the same cookbook. They can select from a range of sources and cookbooks. Other popular iterations have include Oktoberfest with traditional German cooking, or they also did a Greek week, uh, month. So I love this because it's a chance for people to socialize, for them to cook recipes they wouldn't normally do and really bond together, as well as to highlight a part of our collections that are often really popular. And the image I used on the left here is one of my favorite cookbooks from, 20, uh, from the last year, which is Todd Richard's Soul, A Chef's Culinary Evolution in 150 Recipes. I cannot recommend this highly enough for your library. It's a beautifully produced book with marry a bad recipe in it and really great information about the chef's journey as a, a chef with ties here in the South. I really love it and recommend it for your collection. Okay, great idea number six comes from outside the state and Katie Media Torstover at the Kansas City Public Library and her FYI book club. I love her FYI book club. Like what Priscilla Ivey did, with her reading challenge that we talked about earlier in the webinar, she really ties into local newspaper coverage or like Bill does at Mark's Quidman. And what she does is she picks a book and has the book club happen somewhere local that has an interesting tie into the book. So whether that's reading Caitlin Dowdy at a mortuary or reading Ghetto Side at, and having the discussion at a local police um, head please excuse me, at a local police district headquarters. She will also bring people to art museums. In this photo, you see them at a record store. You know, think about what you have in your community. Do you have baseball fields? Do you have antique stores? Do you want to read a cozy in a tea shop? Do you want to have something about furniture repair at a furniture store? Really think creatively about what you have in your community and what books you could read that would pair well. So she'll think of a creative pairing of a location and a book. She'll often bring the author in by Skype, and then she'll write it up and feature it in the local newspaper. I think this is a great low cost idea that I would absolutely love to see used around the state. And speaking of ways to save money for your book clubs, great idea number seven, check out an MLC book club kit. If you go to the link, uh, on this slide, you can see places where you can request dozens of food books, graphic novels, local authors, and more great ideas from this podcast. With your checkout, you'll get 10 copies of the books, discussion questions, and depending on the book, sometimes more, things like culinary documentaries or other hands-on activities. So please check out our website and request our awesome book club kits. So those are just a few great ideas from around the state and further afield for how to put some new life and energy into your book club. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at louisa at mlc.lib.ms.us and have a great day. Thank you.